Hey friends, it's Natalie with Risen Legacy and I am here to do swatches on our grays. I've got two beautiful browns and two blacks. So let's get started. Um, I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. It is still snowing here in Amarillo, Texas, so um, it's very cold outside. Hi! Good afternoon. I hope everybody's had time to feed your kiddos that are at home um, some lunch and stuff like that. I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter. I know we did. Um, we did. We ended up not hunting eggs. I'm not sure who um, saw our post, but it was just way too windy, like gust up to 40, 45 miles an hour. So we didn't. We did not hunt eggs. Um, we just kind of ho hopped around with an Easter basket and gave them that. So. We had fun, but, um, anyways, I'm glad you guys are joining me today. Um, you're going to love these grays. I can't wait to get them started for you. I'm going to start with, um, my mat. I'm going to start with the ones with shimmer. They are my favorite, so I'm going to start with that. Um, I'm going to go with, my favorite is Titanium Smoke. So I'm going to do that one. Remember, you shake everything very well. And I've got to tell myself to go slow so it all um, doesn't bundle up, scrunch up, and stuff like that. So I'm going to clean all these swatches off real quick. I was a little late getting on here because I realized I didn't have any swatches of my grays made up. So I had to do that. Um, something I wanted to bring to your attention is... Just because I just thought about it. I've had somebody, a couple people want to try the dip on some fake nails before they do their real nails. Um, I have the problem with these as well. So I do want to let you know that um, if you are going to practice on a fake nail first, that's great. That's good. But um, it is not, it is like your real nail, but it is not in essence to... Um, you don't have the blood flow and the heat from your fingers on there, so um, you may get kind of a, like a splotchy look of like once you put the base coat on, it may kind of um, separate just a little bit or whatever. So if you see something that kind of looks just a little bit of um, kind of splotchy look, that's why. Um, you could file the fake nail first, which I do suggest. I haven't done, on, I have not done on these because I, I wanted to get on here for you ladies. Um, but you file the fake nail and, and wipe it off with your nail cleanser. All of these that, that you do receive these and then your fake nails, um, they kind of have like a, a chemical from being made, if that makes sense. On them, there's just a little bit of residue, stuff like that. So you kind of want to wipe that off. Good morning. Christina and Courtney and Brenna, I'm glad you ladies are on here. Let me find Titanium Smokes. Perfect. Okay. Now, Titanium Smoke is very, very similar to Metallic Shine. Um, I want to say Metallic Shine is just a, a tad, tad bit uh, lighter than Titanium Smoke. But Titanium Smoke's my favorite. Um, Gunmetal Gray. We'll get to that. Let me, um, sorry, jumping ahead of myself. Catch the replay. Hey, hey, Debbie. Yay, Debbie's here. I feel like I've done grays for, for y'all before, but I guess, I think I did just the spark, the shimmery ones for you, so you could kind of see the difference of that. I don't, I don't know. And I do have my greens laid out. I've got to do a video of greens for you, so, um, I have not forgot about that. What else, y'all? Have I done tans? I think I have to do tans for you guys. This titanium smoke is so pretty, y'all. It would be very pretty with uh, In the Spotlight. If you've gotten our In the Spotlight um, shimmer. No, sorry. I was thinking of what else I needed. If you get In the Spotlight glittered acrylic. Um, it would be a really good like party nail or contrast. Between the two. Singing, 
Some of you may believe this or you may not. I've already changed my nails from the video. When did I do that? Saturday? Saturday. I've already changed them. Um, let me put a little bit of lotion on. It's so cold. My hands are so dry here. So, um, I just show you what I have on. I don't have a top coat on yet. Um, I did them this morning. I woke up super early and got me some Stephen Furtick in and some Curflo Dollar. I got, got those in. And so while I was doing watching those, I filed my nails off. And then so I put sandstone on. I'll show you that when I do the tans. But sandstone is really, it's really pretty. The white was beautiful, y'all. But I'm not a white person. So I have put it on and then I just had to take it off. Uh, that's all question. Your videos are stress relievers. <laughs> so relaxing to watch. Thank you, Courtney. That makes me feel good. How often do you change your colors? Catherine. Oh, dear. That's a loaded question. How often do I change my color? Hmm. I change my color every three to four days. There was a girl that posted on Risen Legacy's Facebook page and said... Does anybody else have, have this problem of wanting to change their nails every three to four days? And I said, join my club. Join my club. I do. I'm constantly filing them, y'all, or um, changing them. It is a, a great hobby, but... I would like to say um, it's it's a lot less inexpensive than going to the salon to do it. it it's not it's not an, a, an expensive hobby. Like I said, y'all remember I said um, if, if once you get the pro kit, if you space it out every two weeks for a year, it's going to be a little less than three dollars a set. Don't forget that. That's amazing because if you go to the salon every two weeks for forty five dollars. Was set for a year. It's a little over twelve hundred dollars. Okay, McKay, Ma, uh, you guys, Michaela said I tried to warm the rice up with acetone. It was too hot, and the acetone started to boil. Oh dear! So don't we don't recommend using rice? I suppose. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I am too. I'm sorry if y'all are married, or you, um, and your husbands or boyfriends are um, feeling like they're not getting their quality time with you because you're doing this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not sorry. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be really nice, but I'm sorry, but not sorry that you love to be beautiful. You know what I mean? That's what you can say. This is metallic shine. I'll show you guys the difference. Um, my video on Saturday, you guys, I wanted to I guess, I don't know if apologize is the correct wording, but I said we, that my, my kiddos, um, we're so used to playing out naked and stuff. Well, I wanted to make a correction on that. We did that when we were younger. Um, my seven year old now has to be dressed and can't undress in front of daddy or can't do this and that. So. I don't want y'all thinking we're just walking around, running around here naked. I wanted to make that very, <laughs> very clear. Don't come to my house expecting to like be a, a peeping tom or anything like that. Um, we are always fully clothed. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Let me read some stuff. Um, I think I did try something wrong last night when I took off my acrylics. Off my nails are so sore today, Courtney. That's normal. That is very normal because when you have the acrylic on top it um you don't get that like um you don't get the natural air to your fingernails and so when you take them off they will be very sore that a lot of the times is why you just um immediately put put something else back on i'm smiling but um that's kind of what you what you do you um i guess that's why you get in a habit of having nails because once you do take them off um you're not used you're not used to it and then then mine if I take mine off um even when I go to like do dishes and I put my hands under the hot water I'm just like oh my god like it feels like there's nothing there you know what I mean like I'm just so used to the hardness and 
the cover and protection over them that they are going to be a little sore. Um, one or two days is all that lasts. So uh, if you're freaking out and saying, oh, I don't want to put on, I'll put on another set, um, just one or two days. I, I wouldn't, um, it's not going to last much longer than that. But that is a very, very normal. Um, when you took them off, you did not, did you scrape them or um, try to pull any of them off? If you do that, Heather, your order's already out, sis. Um, if if you tug on them and pull on them or scrape really hard, like if you take your uh, cuticle pusher, when you're soaking them off, I always have one of these because I like sit there and I like um, scrape the the goo off and then put it on a paper towel. If you do that and you scrape really really hard. It's going to make your nails a little bit more sore. Hello, Jessica. Thank you for coming and watching. I got it, Heather. Oh, you got it. Oh, got my order Saturday afternoon. Oh, and I already got your package. I read the first sentence. I'm so sorry. Best customer service ever. Thank you, love. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys love everything. Let me do one more coat. I um, just hit this with my fingernail real quick. And I want to show you the difference between this is metallic shine and titanium smoke. Like, I'm going to have to order more acetone because I was like, geez, made it look so easy. Um, I got the acetone. You order and I got it. Hey, um, I'm trying to send more thank you cards out, guys. Not only with the new purchases, but... Um, I am sending thank you cards out with a new promo code for the ones that are coming back to order more colors. Um, I'm a big, big, like, um, coupon person. Like, I don't buy something unless I don't have, unless I have a coupon. Does that make sense? So, I feel like offering you ladies these promo codes and stuff helps. Um, I know it would help my decision. So, even if it takes care of the shipping... That's a big deal to me. I, I hate to pay shipping, so I'm sorry, but um, I'm hoping that these promo codes that I give you will help with, with that shipping cost and or help you get a couple more colors. So, um, it is due to be delivered today. Ah, Deanna, yay! Oh, funny story. Um, Deanna, that was you that I emailed, correct? Was that you? Let me know. It's a funny story, y'all. Let me see. Let me see her answer. Come on, Deanna. You liked the way the package smelled, Heather. Yay! I go out of my way to make it smell wonderful. Um, presentation's kind of a big thing to me, so I try to always make sure that when everybody's packing the packages, um, we do them all the same way, and they all look perfect and smell perfect for you. Hmm, I'm not sure. Deanna is not sure. Dang. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. It was, uh, her last name started with an H. Guys, messenger. Deanna, do you live in Amarilla? Are you the Deanna in Amarilla? I need to order some. I have heard great things. Lauren, I will get it out today for you, girlfriend. If you order today, it will go out today. Deanna, are you in Amarillo? Okay, guys. These are so similar. I don't know if I put stuff on both of these. Nope, Deanna's not from Amarillo. Okay, there is a Deanna in Amarillo. And I, uh, she ended up getting her package and it was overlooked that she ordered two of the nail cleansers. And I was like, okay, so you live right by where we go to church. I'll just drop it off before we, before we go to church Sunday. And so I, I went and put it by her front door. And then I emailed saying the Easter bunny has arrived at your house. Y'all, it was the wrong Deanna. So, um... Uh, I was wondering why I didn't get an email back 
And when I got home, I text that Deanna that I emailed and said, Hey, I'm just making sure you got your Easter Bunny package. And she said, I'm sorry, but you may have the wrong number. And, and I said, Oh my gosh. And once I looked it up, I was like, oh, wrong Deanna. And, um, come to find out, she, she texted me back and she said, you know, what's really bad is I really did go check my front door. She was thinking, she said, I thought it was a little soon to get my order, but I really did go check my front door just hoping that my order was there. So I'm sorry, Deanna. Uh, that starts with an H if you're on here watching. I'm sorry. I busted your bubble. Number two or three, Deanna's on Saturday Live. It was very strange for me. To, I know you don't ever see that name. And then all of a sudden they all pop up and she was like, what, what a coincidence that you, there were two Deannas, but anyways, it was kind of funny because she was like, I really did go check my front door and I'm, like, I'm really sorry <laughs> if I could come up to where you live. Oh, she was from Corpus Christi. So if I was, I was thinking if I could come to Corpus Christi, I'd drop it off for you. I'm so sorry. Okay guys, titanium smoke and metallic shine, titanium smoke, metallic shine. And I would say. I don't know. They're so similar, but I kind of want to say that Metallic Shine is just a little bit darker. It looks like Titanium Smoke may have a little bit more of a silver hue to it. Like, I don't mean silver, but I mean... Do y'all see the... y'all see what I'm talking about? It's a gray with the shimmer in it, so it kind of looks like... Uh, does that... Can y'all see? See that? Metallic Shine and Titanium Smoke. Um, I want to try something real quick. Let me get a blank one, and I'm going to try this. I'm going to see if this shows you better. Sometimes if you go on the inside of, inside of the swatch, it helps. Let me see if this... Let's do that. Let me, um... Ooh, I'm coming out with two more colors. Well, of course, um, we're getting a super bright orange for summer, and then I just, uh, we just came up with, um, two more colors. Y'all want to see them? I don't know when they'll be released. What did I do with them? I should have looked before I spoke. Does anybody else have that problem? <laughs> I don't have names yet, and of course these aren't perfect, but I've got a beautiful silver and a, a gray that is almost blue. It's really pretty. I love them, love them. The silver's really pretty. Heather, you may be uh, better off just buying the whole collection. That's available on the side. <laughs> And I actually took, I think, 15% off, so the price on there is like $200 less than it is all of them um, added up together. <laughs> That's funny. That's great. Um, let me, I'm doing, I'm kind of doing a sample now to see something, see if this helps y'all see. Oh, Lord, if it does, though, then I'm going to have to start all over. Would y'all watch me if I had to start all over? Let's see here. Doing it on the inside. You can't really... What am I doing? Metallic shine. Doing it on the inside. Like you can't... You can't really see the difference. So, that would be a waste of time, I suppose. But you see the shimmer in it before I put the activator on? These are both metallic shine. I just, on this one, just kind of went on the inside of the nail instead of the outside. Um, okay. We'll stick with what we're doing then. Oh, no, I did not see your question, um, Courtney Cervantes. The machine that takes, that, uh, steams my acetone, I get it off of Amazon. Um, it's like $30. So worth every bit of $30. Um, it does get really, really hot though. So, like... I was in the bathtub the other day, just soaking one hand at a time, and I had to, like, turn it off, because uh, it actually, it, it gets really hot, so, but it's well worth $30. I just, right now, don't know how long it's going to take for you to receive it. Does that make sense? But it's definitely worth ordering, promise. 
Good morning. I mean, ooh, afternoon, Courtney. Y'all, I don't know why I always say good morning. Maybe I wish it was morning. I'm such a morning person that uh, I like my mornings. Okay, metallic black. Y'all, metallic black is awesome. Um, if you're trying to decide between black sapphire and metallic black, um, I would get metallic black. Metallic black, y'all, is very black. But it's got just, um, the sh the shimmer in it is almost like a, let me think. The shimmer in it is almost like a darker shimmer. Does that make sense? Y'all just hang on, I'll get it, I'll get it ready for you. Um, Courtney Ward, wow, you got your package in the mail? I mailed it. I mailed it Saturday. It was so funny. I uh, promised you guys if y'all ordered on Saturday, I would get it in the mail. And Courtney ordered at the last minute, and I just uh, given the mail carrier all the packages. And I literally, if you know me, I literally drove and chased down the mail the mail lady and gave her like five more packages. I was like, mm, these are going out today, and I knew she had just come, so I chased her down. And she, um, we're good friends because she comes every day and is here for like ever loading all the packages up but um I blocked her off in the middle of the road and just like turned sideways so she couldn't go so she got um everybody everybody got their packages out so yes Courtney got her package you do love black sapphire I like black sapphire it's pretty I just am saying you know I had to choose I would choose uh, metallic black I'll put them up side by side for you guys let me start on the, on the black sapphire. I kind of wanted to do an ombre too. Um, hey, Rosa. I kind of wanted to do an ombre too of like a darker gray going to a lighter gray. Would y'all like to see that? Of course, it may not be absolutely perfect because I'm... I don't want this video to be like super long, but... Black sapphire, you guys, is a really good color if you... Um, Are going to you could put like a layer of black on and then it would be real we should see what it just don't have enough hours in the day to to do this for you guys my kids are in there doing god knows what and i just keep coming up with things to do but black sapphire would be um really cool we should try it with like tutti frutti or pink flamingo on top we should see what that looks like It'd be pretty cool but black, black sapphire, black is a really good color for like an underlayer. If you've got a, a lighter color that you're going to put on top. Courtney, um, Courtney Ward. So Will I is on. Um, I always think of you from Glow when I hear this song. You did it so beautifully. Oh, black sapphire is really, I mean... Metallic black is really pretty, y'all. Let me show you. Check it out. Uh, let me make it focus. Rosa, hey. I don't know if I said hey. <laughs> um, y'all, you guys can't see the shimmer in that, can you? Metallic shine is. I mean, metallic black is so pretty. Let me finish Black Sapphire. Oh, it went fast. Remember, you can pat it as long as it's not shiny looking. If it's shiny, just, just like, can y'all see the shimmer in some of that? Some of that is still wet. All you do is just dip it again. Don't fling it everywhere. But just dip it again. It'll cover up the parts where you got a little bit of excess of the base coat. And then you can kind of tap it out if it, if it wrinkles up. So, uh, black sapphire. I'm going to do another black sapphire. I really want to see what it looks like with... Uh, tutti fruity over it would be really pretty.
Anyways, I've kind of done more of the darker grays for you guys. I've got Gunmetal Gray is the last one with shine in it. So I will do that um, right now. Hold it. Gunmetal Gray, y'all, is pretty. It is really pretty. Can y'all see that? Let's see if y'all can see black metallic like that. Mm, it doesn't look as pretty, but you can kind of see that it's got just a little bit of shimmer, y'all. It is not glitter. I want to make that very clear. It is not glitter in this, so you will not be bejeweled out if you get the ones with the shimmer. I'm calling it shimmer. I don't really know what else to call it. It's a shimmer to me. It's a super fine pigment with just a little bit of Shimmer, y'all. Look, this is one cut of the gunmetal gray. It is really pretty. I'm all about grays. Yes. I'm always in gray, y'all. I'm sorry. Gray is my color. Gray and black. So, that's what you'll see me in. I just got some of that gunmetal gray on my black. Thank you, ladies, for taking my advice on adding the nail cleanser to your orders. I promise you, it makes a difference. Awesome. Okay. Done with black sapphire. A couple more coats of... Oh, no, no, no. I forgot I'm doing that one. This one with the Tutti Frutti over it. Do y'all want to see the, the Tutti Frutti over it? Or do you want to see me do like a cool design with uh, with the other gray? With, let's say, gunmetal gray. Y'all name it. Hey, Dan. The Gunmetal Gray Jessica Bostic, it's really pretty. That was just one coat. One coat, y'all. Let me put the second coat for you. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna show y'all something. If you're feeling a bit frisky. But let me show you something. So, say, let me put an activator on this black over here. Here is metallic black and black sapphire. So metallic black, you, it's black, but you just kind of have a very slight shimmer to it. And then your black sapphire, guys, is your flat matte black, strong black. So it is beautiful as well. I personally just think black metallic is really pretty. Um, at the end, when I put the top coat on and show you, you will see what I mean. Actually, I probably have it right here. These are some that I have up in my shop, um, so people can see what they want, but this is a very good example. Let me show y'all these. Black Sapphire and uh, Metallic Black. Check it out. Uh, this is Metallic Black. This is, with this, this is with a top coat on them. Metallic Black and Black Sapphire. Does that help? Somebody told me to, oh dear, try a dark background. I don't have a dark background near me. Dark background. Uh, Heather says metallic black looks like black leather. Yes, that's a very good example. It is very pretty, y'all. I'm so sorry. 
There you go. Anywho, let me show you these real quick. So my titanium smoke is broken. I'm going to hide it a little bit. Uh, uh, so it's going to go in order from titanium smoke, metallic shine, and gunmetal gray. Y'all see those? Uh, I'm going to fix that. But This gunmetal gray is super pretty, y'all. Super pretty. Uh, metallic shine. And then titanium smoke. So... Let's see here. Um, I'm going to put an activator on gunmetal gray. The activator kind of makes it a little bit darker. It takes the, um, the, the super shimmer that you guys are seeing is before you add the activator. So the activator kind of takes that away. Not all the way. Does that Let me dig my hole? Dig my hole. Does that make sense what I mean? Like it, it's, like you see the shimmer, it's just a beautiful underlay of, it's just not a, a flat matte color. Um, okay, if you're feeling frisky, here's what you do. I was going to use gunmetal gray. This is, this is just, I'm just using these colors because they're in front of me. So I've done black sapphire on this nail. I'm going to add um, activator. I'm going to add activator to the whole nail so that it stops all of the adhesive um, process, makes it not sticky, and you do that if you want to add um, like the, uh, when I did the in the spotlight glitter, how you want to dip or something. You'll add the activator so that the glitter doesn't get stuck on any higher part that you don't want it on. What happened to the nail you did Saturday? The nails I did Saturday, Heather, I've already changed them. I changed them this morning. I woke up super early, got me in some Stephen Furtick, and I just filed away. Filed away, got them back down to the normal. This is sandstone that I have on my nails right now. So, um... I put the activator on black sapphire. Then I'm going to take my base coat and I want to watch this. Let me think of how, let me think, hang on. Okay. I'm going to do a design. I want you, I want you guys to see it. Just let me do it. Remember, wherever you put the base coat is where your powder is going to go. Make sure it looks good before I show you. I'm gonna go ahead and put. Uh, let me let it dry for a minute before I try to wipe it off so I don't get it on my um, my brush. Uh, done with gunmetal gray. You guys just saw that it was really, really pretty. I'm gonna go to. Ooh, that would have been really pretty. Blissful Kiss is right in front of me from Saturday. So, hey, Katie. Hey, Ashby. I'm going to go to my matte grays. Um, I'm not sure if all of you saw the background of how I started naming all the colors and stuff like that. But um, I thought it would be really cool to have categories. So, I thought of categories that just kind of pop, popped up in my mind. Like, I like vacation. So, I did Tropical Paradise, I think it is. Romance. Um, I love to eat. And I love, love sweets. So, I did a sweet tooth collection. Um, and then, underneath all those little collections, I thought of 
that's how I kind of thought to name all my colors. I just, I tried to name them um, closest to what they remind me of. So, um, that would help. But, hey, Brittany, you guys hopped on right when I was um, feeling frisky doing something. I'm going to add another coat of this gunmetal gray on top of a, a flat mat. It's just something you can play you can play with. Remember you stop you stop the um, adhesive you stop the adhesive part of the nails. If you mess up and want to start over, just add that activator on there. I hope I'm not confusing some of you when saying that. I'm just trying to give you tips and tricks of how to do like different designs and different things like that and if you're in a in a bind and you make a mistake how to how to fix it super quick so um i'm going to add a little bit of black back on to even up the layers you don't have to this is me just um messing around you guys Remember, you can get a, a thinner line if you turn your brush sideways. Like, you know how... Y'all get what I'm saying. Surely I don't have to explain that, right? I'm, I, right now, what I'm doing is adding active... I forgot to add activator to that gunmetal gray part. So, I don't want any stickiness on that, so... Um, this would be really cool, say you had, let me just grab it in the spotlight. I love black, I need to get some, I'm going to do my nails for the first time today, a little nervous. Don't be nervous, just don't rush your steps, it's the best advice I can give you. I'm putting activator on because I'm fixing to take a little bit of nail cleanser. Hey, Allie. When I put the black over the gunmetal gray, it made that gunmetal gray a little bit darker than I wanted it. So I'm seeing if I can get it off. Let me let that dry and I'll buff it real quick and see if that kind of takes it off. But um, okay, let's go to satin sheets. Satin sheets is definitely under romance, you guys. Thank you, Dan, for sharing. You guys share and um, help me out that way. That's amazing. Let's see here. Yeah, that helped. I just, I messed up when I um, forgot to put that activator on top of the clear. So a little bit of that black got on top of the gunmetal gray, but it is coming off. Let me go to satin sheets real quick. These are our mats, our matte grays. They are a little bit lighter. I don't have a dark one in it. The darkest of the matte grays is 50 shades. Satin sheets is actually the lightest one, so if that helps you let me grab um 
guys, Dusty Storm. Dusty Storm is a cool one. It's a gray, but it kind of has like a brown hue in it. Uh, Y'all let me know if you can see that. Can y'all see that? How oh, this is satin sheets. This is definitely gray. And this is Dusty Storms. It, it has, it, even if I put my sandstone up to it, it's really pretty. Like it's a kind of a brownish gray. Really, really pretty. So let me get that one on the nail. Did any of you share the video um, we all did Saturday? Did anybody like that and share it? Um, Fifty Shades. Fifty Shades has a little bit of a of a bl bluish undertone. Miss Debbie, did you hear that? Who all is on here and it's snowing at your house? Hey, Mandy. Is it snowing over there, Mandy? I know it's still snowing here. I had to text um, the mail carrier this morning and let her know where I had everything. Is anybody struggling with trying to make your roots look good? Snowy in Southwest by Ar uh, Arden Road. Okay. I actually have to run into town here shortly. So that's good to know. It's crazy to think it's snowing in April, right? I can't wait for y'all to see Dusty Storm. Check it out. I made a ripple. No, I'm not perfect either, so it happens to all of us. The best of us, right? Satin sheets. And Dusty Storm. Dusty Storm is really pretty. It kind of has that um, darker, uh, what was I saying, brown, brownish color too. So, yes, Deanne, it's not sticking here either, but it's enough to make my dog not want to go outside, right? The um, rug is sounding better and better. Anybody got, anybody got one of those? Um, now... Let me add the activator so I don't mess these up. Then we'll go to slate gray. I'm going to put something else on this. Right, right mine either. Um, Oh, rats. What I was fixing to do is something you have to do with monomer, so I don't want to do that for you guys. Um, it looks kind of taupe next to satin sheets. It is. It is, Heather. It's, but it still has that gray. Yeah. It's really pretty. Um, let me see. I may not show y'all this now. This is what it looks like. This is kind of what I did with the... I did a little design, if y'all can see that. Um, my next step was I was going to outline the gray with in the spotlight. Normally, I do that with a uh, monomer and a brush. But let me see if I can conquer that look with this brush of this base coat real quick. Let's see if I can get a thin enough layer. Of 
Courtney Ward, you're going to have to send me a picture when you get your nails done, dear. Okay, let me see if this works. Ah! It did! Check it out. Kind of cool, huh? I'm not sure I'm down with the design, but I tried to do like a... I don't know. But I outlined it. You see that? I turned my brush sideways. Now, now what I would do is cap this in clear. To cover up and make it all even. Does that make sense for you guys? Be cool party nail. The more you do it, the better you get. Ooh, hang on. I just saw a tornado. Heather said we have a, a tornado warning until 8 p.m. Oh my goodness, stay safe. Heather, remind me where you live again? Anyways, do you guys see how cool it is? It's pretty cool. Is Tracy Fisher on? Is that Tracy Fisher I see? <sighs> okay, let me put my in the spotlight back on back yes back on um i'm gonna take or i have so many things i want to do for y'all um let's just go Woo! i'm almost out of this slight gray i don't even know if i can do it let's see here slate gray is darker than satin sheets not by much but it is. Let's see if I can get some out of here. Touch the bottom. And then I'm going to throw 50, sh 50 Shades is under Romance too. I tried to be the good girl and not say anything bad, but I just named it 50 Shades. 50 Shades, yes, definitely has that blue undertone. It's very, it's out of these, ooh, I don't know. I was going to say it's my favorite, but I really like Dusty Storm. I don't know. I like Fifty Shades, too. It reminds me of the new, of the new shade I just, uh, we just came up with. It's not as blue. P Those of you who were on here in the beginning. Actually, let me go to Slate Gray. Can't get it on the very top. I'm so low. Let me hold up. This would be a good. I'm going to hold up Dusty Storm. Dusty Storm. <laughs> so, Heather's comment got me sidetracked. Fifty Shades and Dusty Storm. So y'all can see they're both gray. But this one's the blue undertone. And this one has kind of the brown undertone. Delaware. Okay. Oh, be safe, Heather. That's so scary. Um, we just recently moved to Amarillo from um, North Padre Island. So I went from... Hurricane warnings to boarden up all your windows to t almost Tornado Alley here. It's kind of scary. I remember last year we were um, in Home Depot getting something and a tornado. Was, we could not leave Home Depot because we had to stay in the lounge where they eat they wouldn't let anybody leave because a tornado came right over it was really scary i don't like i did not like that feeling at all knowing at the time we had duck i don't know if any of you guys um know about old duck man duck man has um gone to dog heaven but duck man was our baby before we had babies so i did not like being in home depot knowing he is quivering with a tornado any kind of a storm or anything like that he just quivered so I wanted to get home to him um, 
Let me put activator on here to stop this and I'll hold up all the nudes. Then I'm really excited to show you the brown, these two browns that I have. Okay, so uh, let me fold this one down real quick. I want to get that lump off that I got it because it's such a pretty color. I'm going to put Satin Sheets by Slate Gray so you guys can see. Okay. Check it out. Check it out. These aren't dry. These aren't dry just yet, so that's why they're a little bit shiny. Ugh. Dusty Storm. Satin Sheets. This is Slate Gray. Um, slight gray up against satin sheets. You can see that satin sheets is definitely lighter. And then you got 50 shades with the blue undertone. So they're, they're really pretty. Um, I'll take the black, the blacks out of here and show you the darker. These are the other ones, uh, the dark grays that have kind of the shimmer in them. Um, titanium smoke, metallic shine, and then you've got gunmetal gray. What y'all think? Of course, when I get the top pets on and put the final picture, you're going to be able to tell the difference. I'm going to put a top coat on this one real quick. Um, so y'all can see this nail that I did. Let me get my browns. Then we will end this video and what do y'all want? Tans or greens? What y'all want? Shall I bring up that my bottles are very um, sturdy too? You can drop them and they don't break. <laughs> Difference between Brazilian bronze and Java. Brazilian bronze is right here. And then Java. So Java is more of a brown with a little bit of shimmer. Brazilian bronze, you guys, is a brown with kind of a goldish shimmer. Real, both really pretty. But I want to show you that. Yes, you love them. Let me show them to you. Um, can y'all see this? Let's see. This is Brazilian bronze and this is Java. Can y'all see that? That's what I mean by shimmer. Like it's not, it's not a glitter type thing, but you see the, the shimmer of the pigment on the lids. Brazilian bronze and Java. Yes, you guys, Brazilian bronze, both are really pretty, but Brazilian bronze is super beautiful. And it's, um, let me grab my sun kiss. The Sunkissed Glitter, acrylic glitter with Brazilian bronze. Um, I did a video with it on my nails, but it is really pretty. So let me find the swatch. Hmm. I know I have swatches. Okay, right, right in front of my face. That is so funny, y'all. I say that all the time. And my kids reply. I hear them reply to each other. And then even to me, like, I'll ask a question, and I feel like I always say, it's right in front of your face. Anybody else with me? So, I hear them with each other all the time saying, it's right in front of your face. I'm like, oh, that's, that's because of me. How much they listen blows my mind. Okay, I'm going to start with Brazilian bronze. So, it looks so good. Okay, oops, I do not want activator. I want base coat. Let me put a coat of air dry top coat on um, 
this one so y'all can see. Let it be drying while we chit chat. Put that to the side. Don't forget if you're doing um, a fake nail before you start your set so you can make sure you can conquer it. Um, if you put the top coat on that um, fake nail, it's, it's going to take forever to dry. So that's why I went ahead and put that on there for you. Brazilian bronze coming right up. I had a totally, totally different name for this in the beginning because I think it is so, so pretty. This is one coat, y'all. It is so pretty. See how it has that kind of goldish shimmer in it? Versus, let me get Java. I was trying to think. It looks like Brazilian bronze has more of the rose gold uh, shimmer in it. And it looks like the Java may have like a, a darker gold. It could be a, or a super light like brown tan shimmer in it. Did y'all see that? This is just one coat, y'all. Let's see. Brazilian bronze. And then Java. They're both so pretty. Just kind of depends on the look you're going for. I'm going to do another coat. So... You guys, I have a identical twin sister, and she lives in um, she lives in the Dallas area. She sent me a video the other night of her doing the pledge with her boys. She has she has the boys, and I have the girls. Um, of course, she was talking on the extreme side of country, but. I sure hope her boys don't go back to school and say the pledge like that um, in front of everyone. It was so funny. Like, the countryest voice you've ever heard. I told her, do not post it. It'll make us look bad. Two coats, Brazilian bronze and Java. So I can't do this. That's my eyeshadow on with these, right? It'll be some pretty eyeshadows. Um, I'm going to put the activator on so y'all can see how that kind of tames the shimmer until you put on that top coat. Um, did I miss anybody's comment on the tan or brown or um, greens? I owe you greens and glitters. Glitters too. We have to do glitters are fun. Y'all will see the sun kissed. I have totally fallen in love with. Um, um, is it Swift? Switch. Switch. You guys, I love that band Switch. All their music sounds so good. Okay, this is a good example. If you look at the back side where the shimmer, um, the acrylic powder kind of got, and I did not dust it off because, you know, when you dip your fingers, it's all over your fingers. It looks like Java's more of a copper look. That's good. Um, and then Brazilian bronze has more of that rose gold. It's cool. But here it is with the, um, activator on top. Um, 
let me show you this one that we did. Now this is just one coat of the top coat, but this is the nail I kind of did. Feeling frisky. I can do better. I just um, was throwing something out there so you can see that you can do different things. Um, I know I got the rose gold out, so let me quickly. Do y'all want to see Brazilian bronze with the with the sun uh, sun kissed on top? Also, I have the accent, the accent glitter rose gold. That would be pretty, too. Can we see you do a pedicure, Tracy? Of course, I'll do a pedicure. <laughs> but I don't have pretty, like, toenails. I got it. I got it. Yes, I'll do a pedicure. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put acrylic nails on my toenails. You want to see that? That's in style somewhere. I mean, I see it all the time. I'll put tips on my toenails. Yes, I'll do a pedicure. Wanting to get a kit. What is a good nude? Like a light, a little pinkish. Ivy, uh, pink diamond. Our cover pink diamond is really, really pretty. Let me do this for you real quick. I don't know if I missed comments. Do y'all like more of the ombre look, you guys, with the glitters? Or do y'all like to see designs? I know that last design wasn't, like, perfect or anything, but it's kind of cool. Um, you can do hearts. Um, a chevron. You can do zigzags. You just want to see how I do it so you don't mess yours up. <laughs> do uh, uh, Rowan's. Yeah, do Rowan's toes. Girl, you'll get it down there. That's funny. You want me to jack mine up so yours look good. I got it. Ombre. Okay. Okay. I did two coats of... Sorry, I'm looking for my activator. I have so much... So many things over here. Two coats of the Brazilian bronze. You're welcome, Ivy. So I'm going to put the activator on so it kind of stops the adhesive stage. Then we'll do the ombre. You grab your base coat. I've never dipped my toes. It lasts forever. It's really good. Of course, you know guys, I had a question. Um... Somebody asked the difference between dipping and gel. Dipping is just like going to the salon and getting acrylic nails put on. Um, it's just an, a very easier, simpler way to of application. So it's a, it's the same thing. Um, yeah, and gel gel is something you have to cure with a light, and it is more like a flimsy a flimsy plastic. It's just a little bit better than your typical um, fingernail polish because I know exactly what I'm talking about I just feel like I have brain farts when I'm trying to talk to y'all and read at the same time and nobody's talking back to me and it's just awkward you should try it I'm letting my activator dry yes I've already changed my nails since Saturday I'm gonna I haven't put a top coat on them because I'm gonna do a little extra stuff to them so, let me do an ombre. You take your base coat. Say we're going to do from your cuticle down. So, I'll do it, I'll do it right here so you can see that look. Um, good example right here, you guys. See how my brush from doing the browns is a little bit tinted? If you get the pro kit, you will get the brush extender. The brush extender, I would uh, simply take this out. Uh, you can leave this brush out. The brush extender is not going to dry and harden or anything like that. And then you put the base coat brush in here for about 15-20 minutes and it will get all of that out of the brush. And it's good when you do glitters and stuff as well. It will all stay in the brush extender but it will take it out of that brush. So essentially you have two, two brushes. So let me turn this so I don't forget which direction I'm going. You start, you're going to start at the cuticle with your base coat. Brush a little bit on. Don't go too far out. Uh, if you want a choppy look, 
turn your brush sideways and just do thin brush strokes. I'll do one side, well, one side like that. Or you take your finger and just kind of blend the other end in just a little bit, just making it go from like a thick base to a thin base so that you will get a lot at the tip, at the tip, at the base of your nail and it will fade out. So remember I just did, I want to hold this up, let me think. This side is where I took the brush and did like the choppy look and this side is where I kind of smeared it. So you can kind of see the two different things. Like this one kind of looks like, um, I don't know, fire and ice, something like, I, I don't know. And then this one's more of like a blend. Does that make sense? So this is Brazilian bronze with sun kissed on top. Gorgeous, you guys, gorgeous. I need to put a top coat on here so y'all can see how pretty it is. Gel cracked and looked ugly after two days and using sanitizer. The dip has not done that. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. I know a lot of us are using uh, sanitizer right now. It does dry out the nails and stuff, so. That is Brazilian bronze, you guys, with sun kissed. It is so pretty. I will post that so y'all can see that too. Hey, Cassie. Glad you joined, but it's almost over, and I'm fixing to go to, let's do greens, like our jade and lime sherbet and stuff like that. Um, Emerald Bay is very popular and really pretty right now, so I'm going to end this video just um, so they're categorized, um, and we'll go to, we'll, I'll start another live, and we'll do greens, uh, and then at the end, when I get everything, a top coat on everything, I will post pictures underneath for you guys to see, so Thank you for watching. Like, share, share this video. Um, and go, don't forget about our YouTube. Go to YouTube and subscribe so you get all the new notifications and stuff like that. So um, hang tight and I will be, I'm going to put the grays up, get the greens down, and we'll be right back. Thank you.